The North Louisiana Agribusiness Council rolled out the red carpet for visitors who checked out the 29th annual Ag Expo in West Monroe, and the organization recognized two agribusiness leaders for their achievements in agriculture. Joining us now is A.J. Sabine, who was up in North Louisiana last week. And A.J., um, man, that, that Ag Expo up there has been going on a long time, 29 years. Yes, sir, and it has grown year after year. In fact, two longtime ag producers walked away with honors at the North Louisiana Agribusiness Council's annual awards luncheon. Just after noon, more than 100 ag leaders and legislators met at the West Monroe Convention Center. The North Louisiana Agribusiness Council honored two outstanding agricultural producers. Lindy Lingo, a rice and soybean producer from West Carroll Parish, took home the Outstanding Agricultural Producer Award, and Gary Patterson, a forestry consultant from Lincoln Parish, won the Distinguished Service to North Louisiana Agriculture Award. Both honorees said hard work and a love of agriculture has kept them motivated over the years. I have a sister, a missionary in Africa, and she uh, realizes what uh, not be getting food is, and, uh, and when it makes, I went over to see her in 2001, mm -hmm. and it was a very interesting trip to see how people uh, over there don't have food, and you know, and, and we raise all the food we can to uh, feed the world. It's uh, humbling to say the least, but a lot of hard work, and uh, of course, forestry is Louisiana's number one crop. Our rotation is a little bit longer than the row crops, but uh, it's very important to the economy in Louisiana. Meanwhile, at the Ike Hamilton Expo Center, the 29th Annual Ag Expo welcomed more than 13,000 visitors, some from as far away as Oklahoma, for what has become a must-see ag event. It's a taste of the farm life. Hey, how are you? Hi. Where the tools of the trade shine like a beacon for the industry. Welcome to the 2011 Ag Expo. One quick look around and you'll understand why more than John Deere Green and Quiet Conversation bring folks back year after year. For instance, you'll likely meet a guy like Kent Skeynes. He had your cultivator and all was up in the middle. Who tells his son about the good old days when he worked behind a farm oil tractor just like this one. It's just interesting. It's I bring my kids and my grandkids and sort of just member back and see what, how it used to be and how it is today. You can see it all the way from the start to the finish right here. Alrighty, here at the Ag Expo, not only can you see the latest innovations in tractors and equipment, but it also allows folks to reconnect with their agricultural roots. We're an agricultural area. Louisiana is an agricultural state. In North Louisiana, I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of acres of cotton and corn and soybeans. And then we have a lot of cattlemen, we have horse rancher. You know, we have a very agriculturally geared part of the state. As vendors make their pitches and interest heats up, the Ag Expo offers up plenty of information and good times for all. I enjoy it. Why? We live on a farm. We have horses, we have cows, and we just love everything about it. We love country living. The Ag Expo is sponsored in part by the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation. More than 2,000 children attended the Ag Alley during the three-day event. And Mike, I can't tell you how much this event has changed over the past eight years that I've covered it for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. And I can tell you, AJ, I remember Colonel Ike Hamilton because he was one of the first guys I met when I covered that livestock show and that Ag Expo 25 years ago. AJ Sabine, thanks.